Um, hey, do that. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I actually, so I've been listening, of course, to the other uh, talk, uh, talks as well, and I actually could relate to both Govins and uh, Arthur's as well. So I, I so being, uh, so I'll, I'll go in, I'll go into it in a bit as well. But I, so I was actually uh, not accepted into the program two years ago, and then I reapplied last year, and like. Like with what with what like Govin suggested, like I have a couple of thoughts over there, so that I have like some funny uh, like correlations with what Govin was presenting uh, with my own personal journey. So that's uh, so I'll just go into it in a bit. So I'll just share my screen. Yeah, that's the that's the spirit, right? The resilience, you know. The first time, oh, you know, got accepted, but you know, you learn that, and then the next year, and then you go, you need to be there, and like. Take up the challenge, yeah, uh, like Arthur said, right? Yeah, I, I hope my screen is visible now. Is it? Which screen share has ended? Let me try. Uh, not yet. You have the presenter? Yeah, I have the presenter, right? It should come um, Yeah, so, so now we have it. is it there? Yeah, right, we so, can see yeah, it. I'll just switch over to the presentation first. So, yeah, my, like, my talk, my talk is about the importance of communication and GSOC, particularly. But like, of course, communication is important, uh, like everywhere, especially when you have a distributed environment. So I hope my presentation is properly visible now. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll just start with this. So uh, my the point that I'm trying to make and I'm, I'm trying uh, to uh, show uh, with my personal experience as well uh, is like. Communication makes everything, particularly like all kinds of collaboration easier. So it, even like in, in open source environment, especially when you are communicating through GitHub issues and PRs and of course the channels on Rocket Chat, uh, being an effective communicator can actually make or break your proposal. And uh, it can give you uh, sometimes an unfair advantage as well. Uh, so like actually investing time into it and you don't have to uh, speak any language perfectly, but you just have to like really try at it. So we're just going to go through uh, how I uh, found uh, co effect communication to be effective uh, in my journey as well. Uh, so yeah, so this is just to like the mac maximize the effect of your work, like you're going to be contributing, and like also help your application chances, of course. So first, a little bit about me. So I'm still currently a student, so uh, I am going to graduate uh, in May of this year. Uh, I was a part of the program last year, so I was a student contributor and I was, uh, uh, my mentor was Diego Mello. Uh, so I was also working on the React Native repository. I was, uh, I was integrating our end-to-end -end testing, so that was uh, already present, but uh, it wasn't compatible. So we use a library called Detox for our end-to-end -end testing. Uh, and uh, currently our tests run on uh, Circle CI on a Mac OS uh, host. And we have that in place for iOS, but we didn't have anything in place for Android. So uh, we, the test should theoretically have worked with Android as well, but uh, the library had a lot of incompatibilities with, because of which uh, we, we had to do a, we had to do setup and we had to make things compatible. We had to change a lot of stuff to actually have the test run on Android as well so that we can have uh, deterministic results. So yeah, that was what my project. So uh, we we don't, we won't, uh, so we will talk about how this project actually came out, how this idea actually came about because this wasn't a part of the ideas list uh, uh, as uh, opposite to some which were. Uh, but so I had only submitted one proposal uh, so it, in the year prior I had submitted two and both of them got rejected. But this the last day I had only submitted one proposal for this idea, which wasn't even on the ideas list. And I'll uh, at the very tail end, like I'll just go through how that came uh, about and like why I thought that like really helped my chances and like really helped me work on something uh, which is actually meaningful to the project as well. And the code got uh, merged as well. So that's something that I'm very proud of. And thanks to Diego for that. Thanks to Melo as everybody calls him in Rocket Chat. Uh, and yeah, I'm a current engineering intern with Goldman Sachs. So yeah, that's something that I'm doing right now. And I'm also hosting a podcast. So that's something that I used to do till like a year ago. 
and I have actually recently uh, resumed that activity as well. So, <laughs> very, like even today, I just resumed it, and like we just uh, released an episode uh, for G Soviet Rocket Chat as well. So maybe uh, like that's with uh, Yash Rajpal and Rohan Dekhwani. Rohan, of course, also gave a talk away. So we can talk about that offline later if you're in, if anybody's interested. Uh, yeah. So first of all, like the basis of why communication is important, of course, like, and this is like the, the basis is like, first of all, feedback. So you're working in an open source environment, but like, it's, it's not just a hobby project. Of course, it's not just a project, which is like completely say decentralized. So there is a, an organization behind it and there are definitely people working full time on the project as well. So like they are investing a lot of time in the project and there is something meaningful over here. So it's not, uh, it's, it's something which is used in the real world. So any code that is going to be merged as, uh, Govin also mentioned is possibly going to be used by thousands or millions of people. And when they, when you have that kind of, uh, reliability on something and you need something to perform well, there is a huge, uh, investment into any change you make in there. So it like, you all you have to be open to feedback so and like you have to actually be able to communicate well and uh and like establish trust with the people maintaining the repository and who like are looking at your uh, application and like your prs and everything so you have to have that if you want to really contribute to the project because it it it's, it is consequential any change you're going to be making is hopefully going to be helping a lot of people and is going to somewhat change change the experience for them so yeah that like in any as in any human collaboration like this is very important uh and yeah for for a lot of participants so as for me it was as well so it was i hadn't actually done internships prior to my gsoc uh, so experience so it might be your first time working with one of the project at work like it, you should be really proud of it if you are working at something with this kind of a scale but yeah, so it might be the, your first time doing that. And like you, it would be very beneficial for you as well as a participant uh, to actually gain this experience of how to effectively communicate and collaborate on the project regardless, like apart from just coding. So coding, uh, of course, like developing the applications, getting expertise on tech stack is something that you would want to do and something that is, uh, that the program uh, does promote and does help you with. But, uh, like you, 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 you might notice a lot that sometimes PRs would remain, uh, inactive for a long time and there's no activity over there. Now these kind of issues, like you do in, invest your time in it as well. And then you, you do want somebody to actually look at it and consider it. Uh, but that might not happen if you just like code it up and leave it be, and like, you're not able to effectively communicate the reasons you did that made that change or the reasons you like even considered this idea and like, like even, even why you consider that a bug. If you, if you, if you are working on an issue, if you're working on a bug. So all of those things, uh, can actually help you shorten the timeline you might otherwise take for a lot of this work. Uh, yeah. So pitfalls encountered and this now, now I get to mention some of my personal experiences as well. Uh, so like a lot of these are from my, uh, no, my experiencing what other people were doing in the, in the, in the repositories as well, like their issues, their PRs and a lot of them are from my first year myself. Uh, so first of all, like, like something which is like not in the title of my presentation, but from my experience itself. So, uh, definitely as Arthur, as Arthur mentioned, like you'll have to prioritize some things like you have to really work hard. And you have to leave some things be. So, uh, I remember like, I, I, I didn't, I wasn't actually able to, uh, start as early as I wanted to otherwise. Uh, and, uh, I wasn't able to contribute as much. I wasn't able to put, a, put in as much time and therefore the quality of my contributions would also have been low. And I don't think so. It, there was maybe one merged, uh, PR from that time. So definitely the quality was low. Uh, and yeah, because that, that was because I was indulged in a lot of different things at that time, but you definitely have to make, a, a, a 
sacrifice kind of but like very it's 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 not really a sacrifice because you're gaining a lot and it's it's just a way of prioritizing things right now so you definitely have to work a lot uh yeah so that that's something that i just picked up from arthur's talk earlier but uh so yeah one of the pitfalls so the first pitfall i wanted to mention was maybe the pull request you worked on so this is like if you started contributing and you started getting on the leaderboard you would be you, you're trying your hardest like to get uh higher up on the leaderboard but the problem then becomes if you're not really consider if you're not really communicating well if you're not really considering uh if that like if you're just adding a feature and if you're not really considering if that is the direction the project is going into uh then your con- then that particular pr might not actually even be considered then it might just be closed because it, it there's even though uh it might seem like a good idea to you you basically just made a PMR, pr and like such as said okay so well, from my own experience itself so maybe we should add like uh google maps so that was a google maps so that was one of the proposals so from my particular uh, proposal so one of the proposals that got rejected uh, last last year uh, there was an idea there still the idea the idea is still open uh, to add a map uh, some kind of view to uh, visualize the map on mobile apps and there's and i didn't actually communicate at all at that time so uh, i basically just submitted a proposal for that i researched as well as i code and, uh, and like i made up different uh, trajectories on where the project would go uh, uh, regarding our uh, google play so we have a google play uh, build and then we have an open source build that go when uh, introduced so we uh, have all of that so uh, i did all of that but i didn't communicate so because of that i realized that my idea like the way i actually made my idea did make sense to me but it wasn't actually feasible to be implemented in the actual rocket.chat app so it kind of made sense still slightly as a white label app so something that uh, people would have to like fork rocket chat app for and develop their own apps using the uh, code base but it like that didn't align well with how rocket chat would want to take things forward so yeah so even so even though you talk even though you have like uh, little points and like you are making a proposal and you like trying to visualize how it's going to look uh do definitely early on and this was very very late in, into the time like maybe one week might have been left uh, until the uh, like application closure so at that time you submit your draft and uh, the possible mentors review it and i i did get a review but like i i submitted it so late that i didn't actually get anything meaningful out of it because like that was on me because it was a very very late submission so i just submitted it like keeping in mind that i have to submit a proposal but you should also like just add it over there keep the draft going and regularly have uh, communication with the possible mentors for the project about okay does it does this even make sense like is this where you want this to go and like they would suggest like if you give them enough time they would definitely go through it and they would suggest uh, changes and how they would actually think the project should go so this is so the, i know about this one i know about what the pitfalls were for this because also because i got selected last year so i was able to have this conversation with melo as well and i was able to discuss uh, that project as well so yeah like that 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 uh, give, like hind, like that gave me some hindsight on why then what the what the mistakes i made were at the time and i realize so in fo- in my first year I, i was just like contributing the bare minimum time and just pushing out the code and like putting the, uh, making the prs but that's not the most way to add the most out of your time and your contributions so definitely i would really suggest you first of all prioritize communication now we will go into uh, we will go in a, uh, into it a bit like how, about how to effectively communicate uh okay so the second one you added an issue and you submitted a pr fix right after adding the issue so we basically identified the issue but you like so this happens a lot so you don't want anyone else to work on the issue so and but like of course like in like when people are like so many people uh, part try to participate with rocket chat that somebody else like you're always afraid like you're always a bit fearful uh, anxious that somebody else is going to pick it up before you're able to complete it if you put, if you publish it uh earlier uh and the problem with this is and which again happened with me uh once when i tried to do this in my first year 
of of applying uh, was that like i i did that something wasn't uh, how i would have envisioned it to be uh, and i pushed it like and i like created the issue and i had the change ready and i pushed the mr as well mentioning the issue over there but that wasn't actually a bug so again uh, just keeping in mind that uh, you you might you really need to ask for help and you really need to consider the views of uh, the people who are heading the project and the people who are uh, like responsible for the ch- those changes and uh, yeah that, that that might so for small changes i we still see like people successfully doing this so if there's a typo uh, if there's uh, some other small uh, problem which is very obvious so those kind of changes people would still get away with so opening an issue and then Uh, adding a pr right next to it and it, it happens a lot so it, it adds up on the leaderboard but uh, for anything which might be a bit more meaningful please discuss which is not as apparent do not uh, uh, make assumptions about the code base so people are always ready to help you and like they open the issue like open the issue early or discuss on the issue and then decide on what the best way of uh, going about it is uh yeah and like you may not have even considered the code style of the repository otherwise and would now need to make changes to make it coherent with the project uh, what i mean by this is so <laughs> again uh this is all of this most of this is from my first day in fact so uh, we, uh this one comes from one of my prs where uh, i tried to uh, was it uh, add uh, i i tried to add a, a separate uh, bottom uh bar so the, the bar that comes out from the bottom when you uh, fold uh, on some button in the mobile app uh, so that that did get changed from then but before we used to have like a modal so now this was a bottom sliding modal so i tried to add that using another uh, library and i i i got a function so i i was happy with it because i was new to the repository and i got it function but if you are making changes this big and if you are uh, taking things into your own hands kind of like and, and i uh, was kind of doing that because it was like it there was a lot of there were a lot of things going over there and like it was a consequential change uh, so in the in those kind of cases you need to communicate even better because like if 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 you uh, so in that case what happened with me was so i may i got it functional at that time the repository was moving from t- uh, javascript to typescript as well uh and then uh they were i i made i made the changes i had the styles in the file and, and everything but the code style wasn't actually what rocket Ch- the repository's code style is otherwise so like usages of particular libraries was different how even the linting was a bit off so there were few warnings so like it it didn't really look like it was a part of like the repository itself but it looked like it had been kind of screwed in separately and like it was a very ad- it looked like a very ad hoc change so while that is fine you should not be uh, afraid of like making mistakes like that but definitely that could have been avoided and that contribution could have like made a much made much more sense if i would have co- communicated with Diego, in this case, or uh, Yorkov. So I, I had uh, uh, some uh, communication with him as well. So very little communication with him as well. So he was, so he helped me with my proposal a bit. Uh, yeah. So at that time, I could have communicated, talked to them, and uh, yeah, to, to, uh, like before, uh, like spend, like spending so much time on it, I could have uh, considered. So even like adding a library to the project is a big deal. So like. if there's already in the if there's already some library in use somewhere else which basically performs the same thing uh, function which can uh, act in the same capacity in this place as well then you don't want to add a needless dependency so all of those things definitely make a huge difference when you uh, manage such a huge code base and they would ha- they they would be fair to have the reservations the maintainers before merging these changes so yeah these like these kind of pitfalls happen a lot so just keep these in mind and like before being uh, like d- before diving head first like i would really suggest like that like you open an issue first discuss with them if you are comfortable with the uh, with their point of view then like even uh, ping them on the open server and yeah like take it from there like do not be afraid of like your communication skills if you're not used to it 
or if you like are like an introvert so i consider myself an introvert or at least used to so like so it you can make it work basically uh yeah just don't be afraid of it like uh, definitely put a lot of time in and uh, put in a lot of effort in uh yeah and like so the last point is actually uh relate related to govin's uh, proposal that he shared so i was last last year that was, i remember that being last last year so i had also submitted a proposal for the same idea and my idea, my proposal had gotten rejected govin's had gotten accepted and in this case as well so i had uh, like just to get uh, feedback on what i did wrong and like what i should have improved so i reached out to both govin and yorkov and uh, basically like my because i submitted it i so late so i mentioned that i submitted the applications late that year because i mentioned uh, submitted it so late i did not actually have enough technical details so like i i doubt i would have been able to perform uh, as well as govind had anyway but still uh, like that could have been avoided so uh, if i if i had talked to like if i had submit if i had even submitted it in time like given given them a couple of weeks time or uh, yeah i don't think i even gave them a weeks time so maybe it had been like today so it was not very good practice to like submit it at the very end moment without like having communicated with them i had never communicated with them in the open survey as well or like talked about this issue a lot so i just did what i thought the best i could do was and submitted it that is one way to do it but again so this is an organization this is an open source organization and there are a lot of people working on the projects and they are the stakeholder like there are a lot of stakeholders and they they have to maintain this project so definitely take their views before you uh, like submit it finally like definitely give them a lot of time to actually review it and communicate with them and if you think and if you and like talk to them if it, if they think it's enough and like quad uh, code snippets if wherever you can that is definitely something uh, which helps a lot during the uh, application review process and yeah and many more like yeah so there there's going to be a lot more which uh, haven't been covered over here but like so these are some some uh, which i see i i've seen in my own experience that like happen a lot so definitely like if you see this like if you think this might happen like consider communicating first and then kind of moving forward but uh, yeah so that those are the pitfalls now the ways you can communicate with maintainers of course you should be uh, aware of these right now but just uh, uh, like one point, uh, small uh, info, uh, helpful point that i think i i want to make over here uh, so that is like of course like start with the git issues as as i just covered so like i would definitely suggest uh, like opening an issue wherever you like have doubts and like not just like dive deep uh, uh head first into the code because like a, a you might not have the full picture being the point and like you you should like even though you got a bit comfortable even though like you've spent uh, months at the project now you might still not have the full picture and you might not be aware of what other plans are in store so you like your contribution should align with what the plans already are like there it, there is an open source organization but there is also uh, rocket.chat itself like there's the company itself which is like which has a lot of people working uh, on that side as well like all of the work is open source but the, the the planning and everything so you have you want to be a part of those project planning process as well and like take into issues what the uh, course forward is uh, and the, like the rocket chat open server use the channel so like for all of the ideas in the ideal is there are going to be chan there's there are going to be channels uh use those very effectively and so like this is where i kind of segue into uh, my own project as well so i mentioned uh, my project was in react native e2 e test for android so uh yeah so i kind of have a little story to tell over there from personal experience so my uh, project was not actually a part of the ideas list last year uh and like that whole uh, idea came about just because of uh, my communication with diego my uh, having a uh, form that link and talking with him uh, on the open server so i we had been working on an issue and uh, we couldn't merge that issue because like somebody had to look at the android code separately because we did not have the ci cd pipeline set up for android e2 testing 
so we could not just merge it because we won't like we can't be sure without testing it out first like that nothing's going to uh, break uh and yeah that that was the time when uh, yash rajpal and my, me so both of us like started working uh on a to b testing like we we tried to do it outside of gsop we tried to do it before gsop but it turned out to be a much larger project than we anticipated so uh but i had this a line of communication formed uh, with diego and i so i had uh like some i had sent him some questions about it on uh, the open server and like again so uh, so so i hadn't come to the last point first but wait, this is where it comes in once you have established contract and broke ties communicate with the maintainers on the open server so and but like do this so don't be afraid of uh, not having done everything in your power and like not being prepared enough you like there, there's always like everybody suffers from imposter syndrome you have to get through it but uh try just try your best to make your questions as concise and as direct as possible so that you uh, kind of uh i like show you kind of give that message that yeah this uh like if, if the maintainer does decide to help you this is going to contribute a lot to your personal uh performance as well and this is going to like generally like help a lot help you a lot and it's going to uh, be like it's not just a throw away question it's not it's just general knowledge question about the repository like if they are investing their time they like this is a meaningful conversation so just try to invest your time a lot over there and then come up with the question so what i did was i basically like asked him about the about this idea and like asked him so this was outside of gsoc still so i asked him about this like what what does he think about this like how should i go about it so i asked like i tried to do it before gsoc as not my project itself but as just a contribution uh but yeah, he he we discussed and he told me that he like introduced me to the scale of the project and then i researched more for like 2 3 days for 4 days something and then i came back to him and like discussed the scale with him and then i asked him like if this can be uh, like if if they are actually uh, come uh, like interested enough in it that it might actually be co- be considered an idea for gsoc like so it, the scale was there but like if if they if they interest there because the there's only limited spots as robin mentioned uh, so yeah uh, coming from that then uh, i was able to then uh, so uh, first like personally like he did test me a bit in the chat itself as well and i was ready for that thankfully uh, but because of that because of showing him like that i could first of all that i did make the other contribution which uh did seem like something that should like that was merge worthy that like people were reviewing and uh then i had so i had the number of contributions so last year i had uh, started contributing early and i had all of that like i had enough to build up trust now so after building up that trust like i could show uh diego that i actually like I will be able to take responsibility for such a project because uh un- like some back story for it so somebody I had been unsuccessful in doing the same thing a few years past. I mean, the library that we using for E2E wasn't as mature back then. But yeah, so that was something that had happened, and that was a reason why this project was not like this idea was not on the list. But because of actually having that line open with him, and because of like actually having developed that trust with him, and uh, having those discussions with him, I was able to actually uh, have this idea added to the list and like have. like be accepted uh for this and so i remember like singhi also mentioned uh in that year, uh yeah during my presentation so diego didn't actually want to take in any students that year because he had been very busy like he was managing the team the mobile development team and like there was a lot going on over there but again like because of all of this uh the communication actually helped form that trust and first of all show him that i am up for the uh uh i'm up for the challenge and secondly uh i was like this uh i would I, i wouldn't even i wouldn't ever have been able to do this without uh having contacted him i if i just submitted a proposal for this I, this would not have happened because it wasn't on the ideas list there was not going to be any uh mentor like any like they would not like nobody would have had any idea like who supposed to look at this so then they would have to go into the project and everything look at the repositories mention if somebody was going to look at it uh, at that point uh, so yeah because 
of all of that, uh, I would say like communication really helped my personal journey a lot as well. So contributing, being regular, uh, uh, working hard, and of course, putting a lot of time and uh, putting it, there's like all, all of the things that Govin mentioned that go into the proposal. Of course, it still had to, the proposal still had to be enough uh, and all of that. But uh, this, uh, like, so like just personal story and this uh, might not be applicable always, but definitely like if you have that line open and if you have that trust established, it's always going to help regardless of if your ideas in the ideas list or not. Uh, yeah, so that was basically what I wanted to cover and thank you very much. So thanks rocket chat and thanks all the uh, people in attendance, of course, for this summit. And I'm really grateful for it. Okay. That's very good. That's very good. I think that one, uh, one thing that I got is that. Hello. You know, hello. 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 <laughs> Have audio? Yeah. You want to ask something? Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot, Anand. Yeah, really appreciate it. Like, uh, we do sometimes see like we are doing the same mistakes as pointed out by you. So we could like improve us. And also I have a question like, do we uh, explore two organizations at the same time, like two projects from different organizations or maybe two projects from the same organization or basically focus on only one project at a time? Uh, no, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, I sorry. honestly, I, I only ever submitted to, uh, a rocket chat because like, I, I just love the organization. So both the years, so even though I got rejected in the first year, I came back the second year. I only even submitted one proposal. I didn't really want to get in anywhere else with GSOC. Like I didn't have any, like I could have researched it, but I didn't really have anything else in like mind because I already had had even getting rejected. I had already had a great experience. Uh, with rocket chat particularly. So with everything's going on for like six years and I had been a part of it for the last two. So I'd experienced how Singly was keeping everybody, uh, in like Singly was interacting with everybody on the open server and I had experienced all of that. So, uh, I had not done that, but like experiences can differ. So you can, if you are interested in multiple organization and you think you can contribute enough to both of them. And if you like have value in both the code bases, then you can consider that, I guess, but yeah, please, like there has to be time in investment as well. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And on offer, I think that the, you know, the, the, the advice on uh, issuing the PR first and trying to wait a little bit, it's, it's good because sometimes you're going to do the P the issue and then right away the PR. And then maybe in like, in like you said, it's not a, a bug, it's a feature. You, you, the idea is, uh, the, the, the behavior is, is that, that, that the, is the expected behavior. Uh, so I think that's, that, that's, you, you did a good job on, on nailing the, the issue of communication, right? Like communication is key. You need to understand and, and make yourself understood in order to other people see what you have done and what you were trying to accomplish with that PR. Uh, but first you need to, to make sure that that's an, that an, that's an issue that you can go ahead and then, and while going ahead and try to fix that, if your approach is the right one, if, or maybe there is another thing, or maybe there is some other PR that you were not able to see, or maybe there is an, there is an ongoing effort to solve that. So uh, when, when you communicate, maybe you go like, oh, have, we have this PR, can I, if you doesn't communicate and you just try to go, maybe uh, there is another person internally on the organization trying to fix that. So in order to maximize the efforts and, and everything, it's, it's always a good idea. So that's, you were brilliant on the, that uh, uh, talk about, you know, how to, to communicate better. It was very good, thank you.